Bismillah ar-Rahman ar-Rahim. In this video, we are going to do the models of male and female pelvis, starting with the female pelvis first. So here we have a model of female pelvis. So these structures, they are the same as discussed in the abdominal model. The only difference is that this model is uh, cut from midline. So it's a cut section. So here we see the bifurcation of aorta. So this is aorta, this is inferior vena cava. This is the common eyelid, and these, this is the external eyelid, and this is the internal eyelid vessel. These are the gonadal vessels running downwards, and this is the ureter running downwards, and finally entering into the urinary bladder. So now in the female pelvis, there are three organs from uh, anterior to posterior. First is the urinary bladder, then we have the uterus and vagina, and then we have the rectum. So this is the urinary bladder. This is the vagina and this is the uterus antiverted and antiflexed on the vagina. And this is the rectum. This is the ureter entering into the urinary bladder. This is the fallopian tube. This is the femoral end of fallopian tube. And this yellow one is the ovary. Now as there are three organs, then there will be two pouches between the three organs. So, you name the pouch by naming the posterior organ first and then the anterior organ. So, regarding this pouch, vesicle is the word used for urinary bladder. So, this pouch will be called the uterovesicle pouch. And this is the rectum and this is the uterus. So, this pouch is called the rectouterine pouch or the pouch of Douglas. If you open it, we see that this is the cavity of the urinary bladder, this is the urethra, this is the uterus, the lower end of uterus is called the cervix, this is the vagina, this is the anterior vaginal fornix and this is the posterior vaginal fornix. This is the rectum, the lower end of rectum is the anal canal. Around the anal canal there is muscle present which is basically the anal sphincter. So the inner one is the internal anal sphincter and the outer one is the external anal sphincter. Now there is a whitish body present between the vagina and the anal canal. This is the perineal body. Now this structure you see, the cartilaginous structure, this is basically the cut section of symphysis pubis. Now you see a ligament which is running from the anterior part of the urinary bladder going all the way up to the umbilicus. This is basically median umbilical ligament which is a remnant of urecus. Now if this is median, there must be a medial and a lateral. So this is the medial umbilical ligament and this is the lateral umbilical ligament or lateral umbilical fold. Now this midline structure, this is basically linea alba. Because we had abdominal wall muscles on the sides and then in the midline they formed a tendon which is the linea alba. So this is linea alba. Now let's see another important structure. So we have a structure here, this one, which is running from the uterus to the inguinal region and disappearing here. So this structure is the counterpart of the vas deferens. So in females, I told you that this structure will be the round ligament of uterus. So this is the round ligament of uterus. Now we have another round ligament, which is the round ligament of ovary. You see that? So this was the fallopian tube. Now there is another structure which is joining the ovary and the uterus. So this structure is basically the round ligament of ovary. So there are basically two round ligaments, round ligament of ovary and round ligament of uterus. So this is the female pelvis. Now we will discuss the male pelvis. So here we have got the male pelvis. Now in the male pelvis again these structures are the same except that these vessels will now be called the testicular vessels 
then in the male pelvis we have got another vessel which is also present in the female pelvis but it was not drawn in the female pelvis this is basically the inferior epigastric vessel now in the male pelvis two main organs are present urinary bladder anteriorly and the rectum posteriorly so there will be one pouch which will be the rectovesical pouch so this is the rectovesical pouch this is the bladder urinary bladder in males bladder is a bit larger in size so this is the urinary bladder a bit larger in size this is the prostate this is the seminal vesicle and this is the vas deferens come going all the way to the testes in this region the vas deferens is accompanied by the testicular vessels and this whole structure can be called the spermatic cord now let's open it so you see this is the urinary bladder the cavity of the urinary bladder this is the urethra arising from the urinary bladder urethra has four parts this is the cut section of prostate so the urethra going passing through the prostate it is called the prostatic urethra this muscular layer is the urogenital diaphragm urethra passing through it is called the membranous urethra then we have the initial dilated portion of the penile urethra which is basically called the bulbar urethra so this region the urethra is called the bulbar urethra and the rest of the urethra is called the penile urethra and then we have the external urethral meatus in the penis this region the blue one is the corpus cavernosum and this pinkish region surrounding the urethra is called the corpus spongiosum this is the cut section of the testes and this is the scrotum this is the perineal body which is also present in males but it is more significant clinically significant in females so this is it we are done with the male and female pelvis